Perfect. Tipsforgamers.com. Welcome in, guys. I'm Dottery Crib, and in this video, we're going to be showing you guys the best sleeper QBs to trade for in Madden 21. If you guys want our full players to trade for list, make sure to head to our website and join our Madden group. Check out our live streams for the best Madden content because we apply a lot of the things that we're talking about in our videos into our live streams. And you can actually see them. We are the only place. And we cannot stress this enough, we're the only place, the only channel, the only website that shows you how to trade and do things that are impossible for the other guys. Uh, the rest will just clickbait that they do. They'll show you that they're actually trading for Pat Mahomes, and in the video, you're not going to be doing that. So I hope you guys enjoy, and from all of our hard work of showing you how to trade for these impossible players, if you guys could leave us a like, share our video, subscribe, click the notification bell, get merged up. Uh, it really helps us a lot. If you guys don't know what to say down below, the comment will be Barbecue Beast. Now, with that being said, let's jump into our best sleeper QBs to trade for. The first guys we're going to talk about is our expert level sleepers. These are going to be for more of the Madden users who can play in all Madden with speed threshold set to zero, can throw for seven to 15,000 yards, depending on the quarter limit, and can play with quarterbacks that are not Pat Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, the typical go-tos that most Madden users go to. Now, these are going to be guys that not many people are going to fight you for unless they've seen this video. They're going to be guys that sign incredibly cheap deals, seven-year deals for 3.85 million with no signing bonus and you're going to be able to get these guys in a fantasy draft or in a standard franchise uh, 95 percent of the time without any hassle uh, at all and these guys you can actually find on the free agency now they are two prong attack quarterbacks and it is all based upon all madden all of these players that we're bringing up are guys that we trust in an all madden situation just so you guys know um, but these guys are going to be on free agency and the first guy i want to talk about is tyree jackson tyree jackson was on our list last year many of you guys know 22 years old 57 overall his awareness is credibly low which i like if i'm seeing guys that are sleepers and their awareness is high they're probably not a good sleeper because that means that the actual attributes that you need to be successful are lower because they're inflating the overall based upon awareness. If his awareness was a 70 something, he'd be in the 65 range more than likely or around there. Um, the thing about him is he can run out of danger to a degree. His stamina is low, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, and let's talk about the sheer size of this monster. Six foot seven, 249 pounds. Remember at one point in time, he was a small human no longer does that exist this guy can barely fit through doors he could basically play the end if he wanted to and he's younger than hell speed is an 85 accelerations in an 89 and his agility ratings in an 83 so if you had the speed threshold set to zero in an all madden format this guy's going to be incredibly successful at getting around the edge he's not going to outrun a bunch of guys they'll catch up to him especially dependent on what kind of defensive style your opponent is running whether they're running a speed defense and they can chase you down that is definitely possible even his change of direction which is known as elusiveness is a 77 so he's pretty loose in the ankles for such a big fella uh, his strength is 74, so he'll bench press you out of his way. His awareness is low, like we mentioned before, which is something we really want to see. He is not going to be a quarterback for simulation. He is going to be a quarterback for user play and for someone who's skilled. We can't stress that enough. 95 throw power. I mean, that is what is so impressive because that is the hardest thing to get up is the throw power. So the fact that he already has that up is great because these three here, his short, medium, and deep accuracy are the easiest to get up when you're talking of the throwing attributes, okay? So this is going to be something that I like to see for the most part other than this 66 medium throw, which he's better at throwing deep than he is throwing the medium route, which tells you his accuracy is kaka poo poo. And that's just the way it is. His throw under pressure is a 70, which is better than some of the elite rookies I've seen come out in the draft, in the auto-generated draft. His big break sacks is 65, his play action is a 71. His ball carry vision is a 79, so he's going to pick up uh, some of those things. His injury is an 86, his toughness is an 87, which means he'll come back from injury a little bit quicker. His personality is an 82, so if you're in an owner format, you're going to be able to sell more jerseys based upon this quarterback's personality alone. So that is something that is phenomenal. His stamina is the issue, 73 overall. However, when we're talking sleepers and expert level sleepers, 
there's going to be issues and this is his issue the next guy we're going to talk about is cole mcdonald he's 22 years old as well and he's a 60 overall he's a little bit of a safer bet than tyree jackson just due to his his accuracy but aside from that he's about the same speed 86 89 and an 80 is caught as a 73 which is different than tyree 77 a little bit off his awareness is a little bit more inflated at a 58 so i do like tyree jackson a little more in this spot but tyree jackson's a little bit harder just because of the fact of his accuracy alone his medium is a 75 instead of a 76 and his deep is a 73 and his short is a 78 so you could utilize him more with throwing uh, more intricate routes than you could tyree jackson you're gonna have to use basic routes for both these guys but Cole McDonald's going to be able to throw a little bit better. He is 6'3", 215 pounds. So he's got good size out of Hawaii. And his throw power is in a respectable 88. It's not terrible. It's not great. It's right in that, you know, decent region. Uh, going down the list, his throw under pressure is a 67, not too far off. And the really, the other areas that matter is the injury at an 88 and his stamina at a 79 with a toughness at an 87. So these guys are actually pretty close to each other. His personality is a 65, so maybe he's not as nice or whatever it is. Uh, he doesn't knuckle it when he comes around the corner. And he's not going to sell as many jerseys for you as Tyree. So the next guy that's on our list is Josh Rosen. Now, Josh Rosen has had some issues because he's gone from the Cardinals and then he's gone to the Dolphins. So he's gone from basically two teams that really haven't shown that they're going to excel and get to a playoff situation at least anytime soon. Perhaps the Cardinals before the Dolphins, but even the Cardinals last year didn't really have a great season. On uh, Josh Rosen, we are going to compare him to Tua to give you an idea of kind of where he is at. Josh Rosen is not as bad as you would think he is, and he is a solid backup if you want a guy who can throw the ball, because that's really what he can do. He's 23 years old, and he's only one year older than Tua here. He's a 67 overall. He's got a normal development. His traits are okay. Both, uh, both Tyree Jackson and Cole McDonald's traits are actually pretty phenomenal and uh, I like their traits quite a bit. We didn't go over them, but just know they're pretty phenomenal. Josh Rosen, though, for the most part, he's not going to get out of danger with his legs, but neither is Tua with that 81 speed. In a format of a, a quick defense, these two are going to get caught from behind incredibly quick. Now, his change of direction is a 73, which is great if he could actually run. I like to see his awareness lower. He is at a 67 awareness, which is actually something I'm, I'm not super happy to see, but I am happy to see. I wish it was a little bit lower. Uh, just to give you an example, Tua's is a 76. So if his was a 76, would his be inflated to be the same as Tua? And he's one year older, basically, with a little bit less development. So what that tells me of just comparing these two guys just this far, these guys in the same system would be actually close to the same overall and even development more than likely at the end of their careers. Uh, and most people are gonna be fighting to get to it like crazy. He's got an 89 throw power rating, which is respectable. It's not terrible. He could still make all the, the throws needed. His short accuracy is an 82, which is pretty phenomenal. He can work that quite a bit, tight ends, quick routes, things of that nature. You could use the strategy pad with him to make the um, throws a little bit better and, and kind of increase the chance of it being caught and it's not going to be too squirrely. His medium is a 77 and his deep is a 78. So that's actually pretty impressive for a guy I would consider a sleeper. His throw on the runs is 75. His throw under pressure is a 78. So he could throw under pressure. You know, break sack, not really there. His carrying is about the same as Tyree and a lot of other guys. His personality is 90. So this guy is going to sell jerseys for you. He's got a better personality than Tua by one on this and Ryan Fitzpatrick by a whole five. So he's gonna sell you, he's gonna sell out and with jerseys. He's gonna sell a lot of jerseys. His injury rating is an 86, which is even higher than Tua's here. His toughness is 74, which Tua definitely has him on that. He's gonna come back quicker. And his stamina is an 82, it is, is a 75. So as you can see here, when you really break this stuff down, even his play action here is not too far off of Tua. Uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick has that up a little bit high, but it's pretty impressive all in all with this kid. And he's, he's actually really easy to trade for. I mean, it's basically um, a yellow interest halfback is what you're going to get a potential 
um, and I wouldn't use Johnson because he's a rookie. I would use this guy Williams here. And once again, I would even ask for some picks back uh, and pick him up here. Yeah, you know, fifth round pick. That's not too terrible there. The next guy I want to talk about is Jalen Hurts. Now, Jalen Hurts is decent across the board. His throwing is a little suspect. Okay, 6'1", 222 pounds. His size is not too bad. He's a 68 overall. His awareness is a 65, so I like to see it around that 60 range. In the 50s is even better. If you get in the 40s, that's magical um, because it means he's actually better than you'd think, and you're going to get him for extremely cheap compared to what he would actually go for uh, depending on his true talent. Uh, but Jalen Hurts is a respectful 68 overall. Not too terrible. They gave him a little love there. He's fast. Uh, that's the thing. He's even got agility. The other guys didn't have agility. Well, with Jalen Hurts, he has agility at an 88. His change of directions in 88, which is uh, freakish. It really is. He's very loose in the ankles. His elusiveness is phenomenal. He's strong still for a quarterback, but unfortunately, strength still doesn't do anything for anyone. Um, but his throw power is an 84. His short accuracy is damn near the same as his throw power, which is atrocious. And he's clean all in all, but that throw power you're going to notice over time is going to be a little frustrating. Um, he is he, He's a tough guy to not go with, but he's a tough guy to bank all of your franchise glory on him at the same point in time. He's not going to really get injured for the most part, uh, and he's going to come back quick with that toughness. Injury rating's a 91. His personality's an 80, so he's going to sell you jerseys. His uh, stamina's an 87, so he's not going to get as exhausted as the other guys. Throwing the pressure's an 80, throwing the runs an 80. Um, you know, all in all, not terrible. His throw power is the worst. That 84, that that's literally the worst. He's a leader in personality, QB style. The problem here, though, paranoid in sense of pressure. So even Tyree Jackson, some of these other guys who are a lot lower of an overall are not going to feel the pressure as much as him. And he's conservative with uh, forcing passes. So he's probably going to scramble more is what I see with that, that those traits. He's going to run out and he's going to try to run away from danger because he's paranoid, but he's not going to throw the ball either because he's conservative. So depending on those two ratings, it looks like he's just going to scramble in a simulation style. Um, could he do simulation? Possibly. It would, it, it would be a struggle, but it would be easier in simulation with him than it would be in uh, user play more than likely, uh, kind of, dependent on the player. Uh, balance pen pen penalty tendency, but that's useless. So uh, to get Jalen Hurts, it's really not that difficult. I mean, you're talking basically Josh Rosen, uh, dependent on the team as well. If I could get you know, a yellow interest here, maybe a red interest. You could see there, I'm still even getting majority of my value. Uh, so what I see about this guy as well is that he would not only be someone you could maybe think about picking up, uh, but he could be a guy that you could pick up as a backup as well and still see some, you know, decent value out of him. Let's pick him up. Let's grab him here. Two fists. I'll just give him that. Red interest halfback. Not too bad. So that's what we picked him up for. He, he's a guy you should definitely think about. So the next guy we're talking about on our list is Jordan Love. Jordan Love is actually decent in a simulation format and in a user play format. You can do both with him. We've used him in our live stream rebuild and he got us to the AFC Championship. Granted, the team around him was phenomenal. And, uh, you know, and that's really what you need to get with him. If you don't have good wide receivers, they're decent wide receivers, wide receivers who could get him to to the next level or a good line this is going to be a guy you may want to back off on uh, because he is going to struggle when it comes to having a bad offensive line most quarterbacks will but you're going to notice it because he's aggressive and forcing passes tight spiral he, his traits are the exact same as tyree jackson okay the exact same as tyree jackson um but with jordan He's, he's not bad. He can get you to the Super Bowl over time. He can get to a decently high overall in low XP settings. It's just what he can do. He's a star development. He's decently fast. And I mean that in the sense of don't really try and run away from too many guys. Just try and get out of the way of danger. Because he's not going to pick up many first, first downs uh, with his legs if the defense has speed. Uh, at all an 84 linebacker speed which is not truly uncommon is going to chase him down even though this acceleration is an 86 you're going to still struggle with him and wonder why you're getting caught from behind even with the speed threshold set to zero his awareness is a 65 which i like to see his throw power throw power is a 90 his short is an 84 his medium and deep are also excellent 
this is a guy you could throw with as a user and, and have no issues whatsoever. He's going to be a guy you could throw with quickly and you could get the job done, no doubt. His throw on the one is, a, is an 81. His throw under pressure is an 82, which is phenomenal. Uh, his carrying is a 67, so it's a little bit higher than what we see. His play action is an 82 as well, which I believe is the same as Tua's, or his is an 84. Um, but his injury, his stamina and toughness are all something I like to see compared to a lot of the other sleepers who have low stamina, really low stamina. His is an 84, 89 uh, toughness, and a 92 injury. So he's going to come back from injury if he does get injured, which is more unlikely than the other guys. Um, and his personality is an 84, so he's going to sell you jerseys, uh, which is phenomenal. And with him with that star development, he's a guy you should definitely pick up on uh, no questions asked. Now to trade for Jordan Love, it's not the most easy thing in the world but let's just say this it's really not difficult okay i mean there's many ways to go about it you can pick some guys up on the free agency they need a right end um he's a 69 overall this guy here i don't really uh, want him you know he's a rookie which is good but even if i choose this other guy who's not a rookie you know i'm still going to get some value out of him as well i can't put him up and so glitched out this season. I could add a guy up like this. I could also add up Julian. So you can add up probably 68 overall and above from the free agency. I don't have a 68 overall, so I'm just gonna use this guy here. And then what I would do is ask for some picks back. Him being a green, him being a star development, being able to pick him up this easy is phenomenal. I'd go fifth round pick. Just remember every team trades differently with every team, so keep that in mind. And it looks like we're gonna be a wash. Because I could probably get a seventh, but at this moment, it's not really worth it. And the next guy up is Daniel Jones. Now, Daniel Jones is on this list because he's also really easy to trade for. And he's a guy you can obtain. There's other guys that could be on the list. And some of you guys may be asking why they're not on the list. And the reason they're not on the list is because, well, they may not be profitable to trade for. Their team has a vested interest and doesn't want to trade them away. But Daniel Jones, he's got a normal development. His trades are not... Uh, terrible in many different ways. I mean, he's a team player, QB style, average sense of pressure, aggressive enforcing passes, tight spiral. Uh, you're basically seeing the same thing. They're giving him these traits. Now, the thing about Daniel Jones is he's also a very massive human being. He doesn't look like he's massive, but he is. He's a very big guy, 6'5", 228 pounds. He's not, he's not a small man by any, by any means. And he's got some leg juice. Uh, he's got that leg juice going on. 84 speed, 87 acceleration, 83 agility. You know, he's got some juice pumps. And he's changed his directions to 77, which is phenomenal. I actually like seeing that. A uh, little little loose in, loose in the ankles, which is nice and uh, nice and awesome. His strength is 67, so he's stronger than all these guys could win in an arm wrestle, and that's good. That's why he's top dog. His awareness is 74, so it's a little bit inflated there. His throw power is an 87, which is respectable. His uh, short accuracy is ridiculous. This is great if you have a really good tight end. You got a fast tight end. You do here if you're playing with the Giants with in Evan Ingram. He's like the fastest tight end in the world, the history of man. Uh, he's a ridiculous human being. And so throwing to those guys, you know, even if you convert a wide receiver over to tight end, you're going to get a lot of a lot of mustard out of it. And his mediums an 80, and his deeps an 80 of one. So. There's, there's no real throw that you're going to struggle with. The short accuracy is going to be your bread and butter, you know, and short down conversions. And then that tells me something that gives me a little bit more hope uh, with this guy, because here's the thing in a short down conversion, uh, it would, you know, third and two, something like that. You're not going to have to rely on your run. You can rely on your pass, your quick pass, because of that, that 87 short. You can use the strategy pad in this too. And it's not going to be too loosey goosey. You start using the strategy pad when it comes to the 80 or the 81, uh, it could be a little bit more loosey goosey but he's more trusting at picking up the needed downs if your wide receivers are good enough they're on the run throwing a pressure i mean all of it's you know basic stuff here his play actions in 84 he's built like that he's kind of like an eli manning style guy his injuries in 87 his personality is in 87 as well which means he's going to sell a lot of jerseys uh, his toughness is a 94 which means he's you know you could uh, slap him in the ear and he's, he's just not going to cry about it which he's not going to cry over bee stings that's what that's telling me there uh, his 84 stamina you know he'll be there for a while and the thing about Daniel is he's really easy to trade for there's many ways that you could get him uh, but I would try to utilize um, some kind damn I don't really have oh this guy will work that's beautiful I mean this is basically 
what you're looking at here. You could add a halfback on too. If I got one that's not very good, even if I got a fullback, if he shows yellow interest, it'd be pretty good. Uh, and then even at this point, and just know you could trade for your fullback back an even better one than this. So it'd be it'd be smart to utilize this and uh, pick him up. Let's go for a sixth and a seventh. We'll just walk out that way. Could probably do a fifth, but at this point in time, I don't really want to waste my time uh, with it anymore. But this is our list, guys. Uh, Daniel Jones and a lot of these guys could be good in simulation as well. Uh, but be smart with this list. Make sure to share and like our video if you guys like our video. Subscribe if you're new. Watch our live streams. We have one coming out tonight. And on top of that as well, get merged up. Uh, follow us on all of our social networking platforms. And make sure to head to our website website tipsofgamers.com for our full players to trade for a list and to join our Madden group. Take it easy, boys. I'm out.